The rover's exploring an area called the Jezero Crater. Billions of years ago, it was a huge lake. You can clearly see a river running into it. Mars has always been assumed to be a planet that is dead for all practical purposes, but the discovery of organic molecules in a meteorite from Mars and other subsequent recognition of their potential for preserving signs of microbial life has caused scientists to reevaluate this assumption. The new thinking has also caused them to wonder if life on Mars was more likely to have been created by a complex microbe or some other form of life. Hey there guys and welcome back to our channel, Mars Discovery. In today's video, we will look into the beautiful flower-like object found on Mars by NASA. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more Mars-related content. With that out of the way, let's get right into it. Planet Mars is currently known as one of the planets that holds a million mysteries. The red planet is also claimed to have a past like Earth. Recently, the Curiosity rover took a picture of something pretty enticing on the surface of Mars. Uh, we know there are organics on the surface of Mars. So all signs point to the surface of Mars three and a half to four billion years ago being a habitable planet. While the object in question looks like a tiny flower or maybe even some type of organic feature, the rover team confirmed this object is a mineral formation. With delicate structures formed by minerals precipitating from water, the size of this tiny object is just one centimeter. Curiosity has actually seen these types of features before, which are called concretions. The concretions on Mars are roughly spherical, with diameters ranging from a few millimeters to a few centimeters. They are formed by a process called accretion, in which a rock is cemented to another. These concretions grow in size and number over millions of years as they accumulate more and more minerals. That is then deposited around the rock. The concretions on Mars are not large, but there are numerous. In fact, there are more than 350,000 of them on the planet's surface. Scientists have discovered them in several places, but most of them are concentrated in the largest impact basin on Mars, known as the South Pole Aitken Basin. NASA's Curiosity rover has discovered what appears to be a series of new concretions on the surface of Mars. Scientists say that the orbs of rock and dirt on the planet's surface are a classic sign of a geological environment with water and sometimes life. This leads to the theory that Mars once had an ocean. The planet has a thin atmosphere, so water would have had to be more than three miles deep to hold enough moisture to keep oceans from forming. NASA tweeted, Stop and smell the Martian flower on February 24th, 2022. Our Mars Curiosity rover captured an image of this flower-like rock. Smaller than a penny, this and a series of other finds are giving scientists insight into the Red Planet's ancient past. Curiosity discovered the object on the 3,396 Martian day of its exploration mission on the planet, while exploring an area of Mars called the Greenhaw Pediment. At that time, the rover was investigating sedimentary rocks in the area and using the MAHLI Mars Hand Lens Imager camera to see textures in the rocks as well as the MassCam and ChemCam instruments, which will tell us more about the composition of these rocks. The concretions are small spiky balls of rock and dirt that have built up around the wheels of NASA's Curiosity rover. The concretions are a classic sign of a geologic environment with water and sometimes life. The researchers say that the concretions found on the surface of Mars are the same kind of feature they have seen before on other planets and asteroids. NASA's Curiosity rover is exploring a region of Mars known as the Gale Crater. It has spent the past year looking for evidence that the region might have once been a wet and habitable environment. The rover has been making steady progress and has now reached a site where it can drive to a new location. The rover is currently exploring an area called Tintina where scientists are studying how the rock formation was shaped by water activity. The Red Planet has been a hot topic of scientific conversation for years. Still, many questions remain, such as how much water is on the surface, if there is liquid water beneath the surface, how much liquid water is in the atmosphere, and many more. Rock samples have also cast doubt on the theory that Mars is an uninhabited planet. In the past, scientists have found evidence of the presence of water, ice, and Mars's atmosphere, which when combined with existing data, suggests that there was once liquid water on the surface. According to NASA, this flower-shaped rock is not formed by any organic process, but is made by mineral deposits carried in water. And this is why it has no true biological origin. 
The rock type is formed by minerals mixed with sediment, sand, and pebbles. These minerals are then cemented together by mineral-rich groundwater, forming a hard and stable rock that can last for thousands of years. These could also be what is known as diagenetic crystal clusters. Diagenetic means the recombination or rearrangement of minerals. And these features consist of three-dimensional crystal clusters, likely made of a combination of minerals. Curiosity Deputy Project Scientist Abigail Freeman said on Twitter that these features that were seen previously were made of salts called sulfates. Flower-shaped rock is not formed by an organic process, but is made by minerals, such as salt or calcium, that are more resistant to erosion. The rocks have a flower-like shape because the crystals are layered into the rock, forming a flower-like shape. Mars is now a dry planet with almost no water or liquid on its surface. It is expected that much of the water on Mars has been locked up in the planet's ice caps. This is one of the primary reasons why most scientists think that it is unlikely that life ever existed on Mars. Because of this, it is now much harder to find life on other planets in our solar system, such as Jupiter's moon Europa. In addition to the discovery of liquid water, Curiosity has found evidence of hydrated minerals, exposed evidence of flowing water, and the likely presence of an underground ocean on Mars. NASA's Curiosity rover has been gathering data on the Martian surface for more than nine years, and they are continuing to analyze and share the data with the world. The rover uses a series of instruments and different methods to understand the planet's past and present, launching digital trends and photographing the striking rock shapes. Curiosity rover also aggregates the images to form four mosaic images that will cover some of the more distant rock and sand deposits. NASA describes the flower-shaped rock along with the cobblestone artifact seen in the right of the image, created in distant past when minerals carried by water cemented the rock. NASA said that Curiosity in the past has uncovered a wide variety of similar small features that from when mineralized fluid travels through channels in the rock. This image of the feature helps scientists understand more about the long history of liquid water in Gale Crater. NASA is looking for suggestions and ideas to help further its mission to Mars and prepare for a human mission to Mars in the 2030s. NASA has just released a new round of photos of Mars and this round shows the planet in a different light. The images also show water-related features such as the shape of canyons and valleys. It also gives us a better idea of what it will be like when humans visit the Red Planet in the next few decades. The images are significant because they help NASA understand the current state of Mars, which will help plan future missions to the Red Planet. So with that, our video has come to an end. What do you guys think about it? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Mars Discovery and hit the bell icon for more intriguing content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.